this video we are going to go talk to those dudes over at the other on the other side on the right hand side of the screen there that's off the screen we're gonna go talk to them I think yeah we're gonna go talk to them after we get the marble from under the red bucket yes yes we're gonna dig it. if we dig it here you get the little the blue marble you're gonna need that later on in the game so um, yeah just go get it now so because yeah we need it later and yeah, we're gonna talk to these dudes. They give you a little word and they have a little cutscene here. So I'm gonna let them show their little cutscene and I'm gonna just sit back and let that play. And I'll pick up when the cutscene's over because I have nothing more to say except that it's not Monday and I'm recording this on Tuesday. But yeah, nothing more to say. They give you fuss fuss. He was like, well, I've seen humans swim, so I know how humans swim, I know how to swim and all this and that, so he, he says that's how human swims, but this is the green hamster, green ear hamster doing it, um, obviously that's not how we swim, so, yeah. If anything, you should get some water to teach you how to swim, but... That won't work because Seymour is depressed right now because Barrett because he thinks Barrett is um out playing with other guys I guess but she's not we're gonna get that part all straightened up here kind of at the end of this video. Kind of the end of that cutscene, they give you a new word, and you have a ridiculous new cutscene of the hamster almost drowning. So, we're gonna go back over here and talk to Broski again. Although, I mean, I know I did this in the last video, last episode. It doesn't save because it only saves to where you, you last entered the point, it like last entered the like section. So, I guess I talked to him after I entered the section, so it didn't save anything I did after I entered that section. Or this section. So I'm re talking to Broski and Bre BG was all freaking out again. So now we have to go go to the other side of the beach, like where the entrance is. You're gonna go over there and you'll see two little hamsters. And then those two hamsters will basically give you, tell you where to find Barrett. I'm gonna go do that after I get the little sunflower seed that you get from digging out the bucket, digging out the bucket a second time. See, they weren't there before, but now they are. So you talk to them and they tell you where bread is. Which is a good thing because you need to know where bread is. That's the whole point of this. Of coming to Sandy Bay is to figure out what's up with Barrett and Seymour. So you talk to them and she's like, oh yeah, we saw her. She was with this weird guy and they went to the other side of the beach. Try talking to the dude on the surfboard. And 
issues like yeah so that's what you go do and then sure enough there's spat and barrette is on the other side of the beach He's like, yeah, I'm practicing my surfing. But no, it's he's just playing the surfboard and he's blocking the way to where Barret and Spat are. So you talk to him and say, oh yeah, you gotta move out of the way now because you know where they are. They're back there. But you're in the way. So. Yeah. And then uh, this is where BJ was just now realizing that Barrette has been tr tricked by Spat. Which really is not all that surprising if you think about it. And there they are, Barrette and Spat. I don't think I know the name of this episode of me swimming on the board. Because, um... Not only is this episode mostly about a falsified note from Spat to Brett, but the person who it, who it was falsified for s like surfboards, swimmed on surfboards, and then Brett has been pushed out to sea on a wooden board, so. I guess that makes sense that it has something to do with water and swimming, so that's why the name of this episode is going to be Swimming on the Board. I just couldn't think of any other name for this episode. So that's why it is what it is. And if you don't like it then oh well. I think Brett teaches you a new word too. Yes, of course, you guys were all looking at the sunflower in the corner over there, so yes, I'm gonna go get it before I say correct. So my video here is about over. Now what we do is just go back to the clubhouse, talk to Seymour, and basically tell him to get over here and help Barrett. And then he rushes out the door and says, Oh my gosh, we gotta go save her. So that's what he does exactly what he does is comes back over here and saves her. So you go up and talk directly to him and do Gatsby, the word that uh Barrett just showed you, and you do that and then he's like, What? Oh no, blah 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 Barrett has this what's out to see, blah 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 blah. You gotta save her. You go now. And then yeah, he runs out the door. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my Hamtaro walkthrough thing. I'm gonna go back to the Sandy Bay and and figure out everything that's going on over there. And uh, like I said, that'll be the end of this episode. And in the next one will actually save Barrett. And yeah, we'll actually save Barrett and get her back to the clubhouse but we still gotta defeat spat so that'll be my next episode uh, don't forget to like comment subscribe and you know all that important good fun stuff thanks and bye bye